Hi Sanjana, welcome to Zoom Digital first. Thank you. Hi yeah, Nirali. How, yeah, how are you doing? Tell me. I'm okay. I'm just about okay. Yeah. Tell me how are the three months of lockdown for you? Um, the lockdown has been interesting because uh, getting to be back home in Delhi, I came back. Almost as soon as lockdown happened, um, stuff gets very hectic, and you're traveling a lot. So just to finally, after two years of being on Dilbechara and being a different person and being away, to get to be around mom and dad, um, mm-hmm. I have five dogs. So getting to be around all of them mm-hmm. was really special. I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm someone who loves. I'm a because I've been a nerd, so I mm-hmm. I'm very comfortable spending time with myself. so that was no problem yeah and uh, you know you made your debut with rockstar but a lot of as a child are, artist yeah as a child artist but a lot of people are now saying that you know sanjana is making her bollywood debut with dil pe chara so i want to ask you which film do you consider as your bollywood debut rockstar or dil pe chara i think dil pe chara for sure mm-hmm. because uh, rockstar was my um, it was the reason and the way i entered this magical world of films Mm-hmm. but i it's my debut as an actor because in dilbechara there's actual craft and actual um hard work in terms of working on a character like that that i've had to do and when you're 13 that's a child actor now it's yeah. it's a leading part and it's you're a full grown up adult yeah. so i think dilbechara by all means in that sense so tell me how did you come on board for dilbechara like what was the you know when was the first call made how did you go through the audition process Take me through all of that. Uh, so Dil Bechara actually, it was in 2017 when uh, when Mukesh. So that's the year I also graduated college. So I went to Delhi University, and um, just a month or two after graduating, Mukesh sir called me saying, "Ke uh, come to Bombay and uh, I want to audition you for something." And that was very normal because since 10 years I've been a semi-professional actor through school and college. So. constantly auditioning and stuff like that so i thought must be one more ad audition or something so when i went um for the first time really like i was given a i was given the script you know usually as auditioning actors we were used to being given one scene but it was a whole script and it said hindi adaptation of the fault in our stars directed by mukesh chhabra mm-hmm. and i was i looked at him and i was like you're kidding because mukesh sir is that type of person that he doesn't tell you too much so mm-hmm. that's why he likes working with people who are blindly committed and blindly passionate because so is he so he just doesn't want you to ask too many questions it's a very unsaid and also i know him for 10 years right so he yeah. knows me in my most um, raw and honest possible way mm-hmm. so that's how it started i read the script started crying because mm. i'm a fan of the novel i've grown up in or of uh, yeah i was 16 when it came out the novel uh but did a lot of screen tests and finally mm. disney and fox also finalized me so it was a very um, very step by step methodical kind of process yeah so you know the trailer looks good the hype around the film is everything is fine but there's something i miss we all know what is what is that So tell me how badly are you missing Shushant in promotions? I'm not just missing him in promotions. I'm missing him in general all the time, just mm-hmm. in life. Because when you you know when you work with someone in such, our film is a very nuanced and emotional narrative. So you get everybody on the cast. We were connected at a far greater level, you know, because you're working on. in such vulnerable circumstances with each other so but now of course to be doing this alone is i think it's just it almost feels like a punishment um i if i had in my way maybe i would just like be in the corner quiet by myself but mm-hmm. i think i'm doing this for him i feel like if i sort of falter any minute he won't mm-hmm. sort of be happy looking down mm-hmm. um so just believing keeping faith and trying to do this the best i can because i'm just really proud of our film and we put in too much hard work and a beautiful film has a place of its own you know dilbechara whatever said and done has to be celebrated also for the film that it is 
Yeah. Right, right. And uh, tell me, how was your first me- meeting with him? What were your first impressions about him? My first ever meeting with him mm-hmm. was, um, it was a reading only. It was, mm-hmm. um, I had been preparing. So my prep process for the film was very long. It was about eight, nine months. Lots of acting workshops, uh, learning a new language. I'm playing a Bengali in the film. Mm-hmm. So learning a new language, you can imagine as an adult, it's very hard to pick up a full new language. But Mukesh sir needed me to do that. Um, but Sushant and I, about a month before going for shoot, we started reading together and workshopping together. So it was in Mukesh sir's casting office that I think I met him for the first time. Yeah. yeah. And um, and the thing is that when you, as an actor, as a as an artist, you have immense respect for other artists who whose work you admire, you know, like Ranbir, even when I was 13 and working with him, more than being starstruck randomly, for me, it was more that I love him because of the, the talent that he is. And it was very similar with Sushant. Uh, but then we developed this creative partnership that was at, I find it like at a whole other level. So yeah. it's just, yeah, really special. And we just, the first meeting only you, you know how it is when you when you meet new people, either you know that you're going to get along really well, or you know that you're just going to work and yeah. maybe that's it. Mm. So with him, I knew that this is not, that's not going to be it kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. So then we, uh, you know, before you met him, uh, did you see any of his films? And what uh, were- Yeah, all. I'm a huge cinephile, so I'd seen everything. Yeah. So, what were your impressions about him before meeting Sushant in real life? You know, before meeting him for Dilvechara. Honestly, like I'm not um, like today we're in this social media world where like there's this over too much interest in the actor's life outside of the films that they do. But for me, my relationship with actors growing up was like for me, I loved Saif Ali Khan because Dilchata was is one of my favorite films. You know, and everything else that he does I'm not that interested in it yeah. so with the same with Sushant like it was Kai Poche that that had me completely like that day the fan ka thappa was permanent because I had not seen that kind of a performance that mm. that real and so raw mm. and then every film after whether it was a Dhoni should they see anything everything and what are your fond memories of shooting with him tell me just you know one uh, memory that is, that uh, with Sushant that you are going to cherish for life. Oh, one is hard. So tell me because if you have many. No, it's just you know Dilbechara is um, hmm. it's it's a it's an entire it's not even just a chapter. It's like it it, it had a life of its own, and hmm. we were living that together. So when hmm. you create something like that together it's just it's at another level but I think some of the fondest memories were Mm. honestly working on those scenes and creating them together because Mm. a scene is given to you but Mm. then how two actors interpret it is there that's where their uh, mind and their craft comes in Mm. and then with Mukesh who's so subtle but so specific in his instructions so that that energy between the three of us really used to be special so usually like rehearsals before a scene on set you're like yeah we'll just do it straight on set na kyu karna mm-hmm. hai abhi mm-hmm. but with us we used to be like chal milte hai mukesh sir ki van mein mm-hmm. we'll, we'll jam on the scene we'll see the different ways that we can approach it and then we'll do it and and that's what's added like even shashank hetan etc they wrote certain dialogues yeah. but it was because the time shashank and i also spent on those scenes that we tried to just keep adding more to them so yeah. that's really special for me yeah. you know mm. and you know as viewers when we watched the trailer of uh, Dil Bechara the songs be it uh, Kul, uh, you know Kul Ke Jine Ka or the title track it feels so good because his chemistry is so you know uh, what do you say it's so beautiful thank so you me, how do you view your and uh, Shushan's performance in your in the film like how do you as a viewer how do you look at I can't. I'm trying so hard. Like I I was telling my mother, I was like, mom, I want to be able to see this song and listen to it objectively 
but i have realized that it's just not possible you know it's uh, you're too close to it yeah like when i see khulke ji ne ka i remember the ham and cheese omelet that sushant and i ate for breakfast that morning yeah. and it's just a uh, but that being said what i i'm a huge critic of myself it, mm-hmm. i'm really hard on myself but i remember when i saw the trailer for the first mm-hmm. time for the first time in i think two and a half years i was like well done like yeah. i really did i just it was the kizzy and nani that i would have dreamt of seeing and i was really happy to see that mm-hmm. yeah and you know what was the reason behind this whole title change because for the film was earlier titled kizzy or many it was then, yeah yeah and now dil bechara what was the main reason behind changing this title so i asked our when it was our studio that decided to change the name and i asked them also but i think they were right because they said that um, people you know even when we so when we were shooting it was called kizzy or many yeah but people someone would say kizzy someone would say kiza or money and i was just like this is not right so mm-hmm. we were just like instead of any confusion happening maybe we should just change the title and i think now it sits perfectly yeah right right and uh, tell me this is you know i know it's hard to ask also and it's hard for you to answer but tell me were you you know aware that uh, shishan was even you know going through depression something like that no um that I, i've been asked this before and thing is that only psychologists or, or people who study that subject can be aware that anybody is going through a depression even if uh, god forbid my father or mother were and i live with them i wouldn't know because these aren't things that are written on the face um and and when someone is committed and passionate and doing their job so well and you are doing your job so it's not like your concentration is completely on a particular project you know you're mm-hmm. giving it your best day after day for hours so there was no and also we shot a while back right yeah. um yeah yeah and so after you shot the film how were you how were you in touch with him like over calls text did you guys meet after the film or what over i mean like normal two people uh, who mm-hmm. who work together and work well together he he was an exceptionally busy person so mm-hmm. i'm 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 fairly busy too so it's not like so constant co- anything happening on the film we mm-hmm. dubbed for the film and mm-hmm. a constant encouragement because um con- throughout this journey um mo- both mukesh and him have really explained a lot of things to me because they understood that for a young actor like me i was just 21 when i started playing kizzy yeah. um and dilbechara is being told through kizzy's lens so a lot of the heavy lifting was happening at my end because that's just how the script is written so they were really there for me to explain things to me you know like sushant would as actors it's very important for us to know how to conserve our energy because we have to perform for 16 16 hours yeah. so he would explain those things to me constantly mm-hmm. or even th- during the dub of the voice is a separate tool of its own a dub like dubbing is a different skill of its own so and he is very good at it he was very mm-hmm. very adept at it so any questions i had i would be like i find it very hard to recreate a laughter in a dub in the same pitch that i did then he mm-hmm. would tell me and his toolbox was mine to use all mm-hmm. the tricks and tips that he i think garnered over a long career he was so generous in giving them to me mm. um and i was greedy in taking them all is there something uh, that uh, you know sushant told to you that uh, is going to stay with you for life lots yeah actually because we used to have conversations that were like that mm. we both are studio so very deeply philosophical conversation but i think the main was that um the actually one of the last things that he told me as well was that that there is no substitute for honesty and hard work and he said you have both and i know that you're going to shine and i just uh, i keep he wrote shine on rockstar because he always used to call me rockstar so i just keep um, reading and rereading that message and last question to you uh, sanjana that you know when you wrote that you are going to delhi there are a lot of people that uh, said you know that uh, you are going to pack your bags and not ever going to come back is that true because i don't believe it personally 
no it's absolutely not true first of all i through even dilbechara i've been mobile between both delhi and mumbai because along with what i do in films i do a lot of other work uh, in the humanitarian field and that require i've set up offices and base for that in delhi and i'm very conscious that even going forward i for me delhi and bombay will both be places that i work out of mm-hmm. so i flew in for one day and flew out but the thing is that i'm very frank and i like expressing myself so i wrote that and it got misconstrued a little bit right. i'm here to do lots of more films and yeah. tell lots of more stories looking forward to that thank you so much uh, for joining in sanjana it was lovely thank you. you and all the best for dilbechara we are all going to celebrate the film and shushanku